everyone who may be watching now later on on YouTube, he in here along with... Zahir. And welcome to Something Sunday, where I try between two to four games, maybe more if everything else absolutely sucks. Uh, to just to show them and give them a try. <clears throat> and yeah, the first one we'll be starting with is House Flipper. Uh, first off though, let me change something back. I have played this game before. Uh, let's not have that too loud because that music can get annoying if it goes on too long. But yeah, I presume a lot of people have heard of this game. Uh, which is basically, well, interior decorator simulator. <laughs> Have played it for shits and giggles. Uh, yeah, I, I was wanting to only get out a few of the first uh, tasks or sort of the tutorial, so I could actually just show off flipping a house itself. But by now I've already flipped quite a few, <laughs> so <laughs> let's continue on. <clears throat> okay, Ooh, first off, yeah. though, this is not the starting house because. Well, I've already moved into a better place. And uh, yeah, I said I'd sh give you a bit of a, a tour of what I've been ma making for myself here. It's not completely finished. But uh, yeah, here's the hallway. Over here we have the kitchen. Uh, sort of a bit of an experimental with the contrasting paints. And over here we have the well, dining room slash home cinema. <laughs> Nice. Which I really don't like the table for some reason. Yeah, uh, this is basically the the flip of this place here to put extra contest contrast between the two. And <laughs> yeah, you could call it the flip version of each other, but also something curtains here, blinds here because you do not want curtains where there's possible fire. Ah, that's uh, yeah, that makes sense. Bathroom. This b here might have been a bit much, but I like it. Though I probably should change this thing out for something with a better fitting color because it stands out like a sore thumb. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting design to begin with. And the office, though it's still only counted as a room for some reason. Basically. Yeah, combination work and entertainment, right. with the PC underneath and the working tablet there. And yeah, the, bath the bedroom still needs to be completely filled in. <laughs> That's a nice bed. So, let's get started then. Let's first start with one of the uh, ordered ta uh, jobs. Let's see, sauna and base build. Uh, Oh yeah, I'd started with this one, uh, but I might as well start a new one, just to show everything. Let's see. I inherited my grandmother's house and my wife is ecstatic. She loves the classic older style. I, on the other hand, not so much. But what can I say? The house needs a bit of cleaning, switching out some furniture, and taking down a chunk of the wall between the living room and the kitchen. We've decided my wife will take the upstairs and I'll take the basement. I've always dreamed of having a game room. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we all? <laughs> it would be great just to get it fully kitted out with the Top Gear uh, computer, monitor, comfy couch, and the works. I'm counting on you. Okay, let's have a look here then. So far I haven't really worked much with two-story buildings. Actually, I haven't touched any. Of old, though, do, do buildings with a basement count as two-story? Hmm. Uh... Good question! Okay, homely little place. It, it, I know I have asked that in, in the past uh, from others, and it's always a different answer. So it feels like that it's people are not in agreement if it counts or not. Okay, they want to turn this into a kitchenette by breaking down the wall with, well, big ass hammer. <laughs> oh dear! On the yeah. upper right we see a, mi a mini map of what we need to break, which helps. Yeah, yeah. I'd say I like the kitchen uh, furnitures. Yeah, it, it's very homely. Yes, yeah, I guess I told my mother the other day that I find most building nowadays are boring. Same with some furnitures, like they're, they're basically just a box. 
Yeah. Well, there's the loot box, but they don't have a box. So I kind of like some of the old buildings, even if they're from World War II, but they still have character. Yeah. A lot of buildings these days are made on the cheap. And yeah, this is obviously a, has been an older woman's house with... Uh, I'm not really sure how I would describe it, but you just know that someone who uses floral print like this has been on in ages. Yeah. I guess it's very clear. One thing I don't, don't like on some from that era is some couches like with that with that pattern. Yeah. That Kepal couch was just hideous. Yeah, you could say it's a bit too flowery. Yeah, kinda. I like some when some things are flowery when it's applied on the right thing. And uh, uh, yeah, just a couch cover. I don't think. No, I just plain color there. Glad I had. Flowery wood decoration on the couch, sure, but yeah. Okay, yeah. Most of these tasks just start with cleaning up, throwing out any rubbish, cleaning up any spills, and this house has surprisingly li few of them. Uh, then again, I presume it was recently lived in. Most of the other houses you get to work on uh, have been abandoned or just outright vandalized. I have been playing it for a bit, so I have quite a few of these perks upgraded already. It's like seeing all the dirt on the minimap and just having a better uh, cleaning mop. Okay. Because when you start out with this, it can get really tedious with having to click every single freaking bottle. Which is why this last one here, Disposal of Garbage, which isn't really descriptive, uh, is useful because it it basically makes every moving garbage uh, an AOE thing. So you basically click one thing and everything in a certain two meter radius just disappears yeah, most of the time. Sense. That makes sense for... Well, depending on what trash it is, you should be able to just grab it with your arm. Again, depending on what the trash is. Like if you use a pile of paper, you can do that. But... Yeah, if it's something that's sharp, then maybe do it one at a time. Let's see, over here they want us to sell some stuff. Sofa, grenade and bed peony. Guessing that is the bed, though it looked more like a couch. Yeah, it might be... It could be a hybrid for... I have seen a few, even, even owned a few couches that you could turn into beds. Simple ones, like there was just a plain wood. They just could flip the seating and uh, turn it into a bed. In order to kind of case, it was just... A sofa that had a hidden bed under it. They just pulled out. There. That sort of fits. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that looks old stylish and comfy. Yeah, th this game is all about being a bit of uh, artistic with uh, yeah, things. Artistic, not artistic. <laughs> uh, I almost misspoke there, I think. Let's see. They want us to get rid of the flowery couches. Yeah, those should go. Wall-mounted TV. This looks to be the best spot for this. Probably need to move this thing. Uh, corner co corner sofa. Let's see. You have that sort of wood. Let's go with this one. Uh, no, that one is alright. That's. It okay, is big that's though. Right. Yeah, it is big. So we're I going know. to have to move things a bit. Yeah, I actually had one of those that my grandparents gave to, to us when my dear brother still lived here. And that one was a couch but also a bed. Like one of the bigger pots had an extra outfolding that you could put up in a bed seating. You could just turn it into a very big bed. But I pulled it out because it took up too much space in my room. But now I live up here alone in my double floor apartment. Okay. So, yeah, it's... I want to take the bookshelves. Yeah, it's a bit oversized for this room, but if they want yeah. it, they will get it. Uh, no. We probably should paint this, but it's not a task, so we could skip that. And personally, yeah. a bit of exposed brick is... Well, it adds a bit of contrast for character, I'd say. 
It doesn't look out of place compared to all of the bricking here. Yeah. No, I, I am a bit concerned about the TV. Yeah, it's not in the best location, but but there, that is probably the best place for it here. Yeah, uh, yeah the only problem with those kind of sofas is you have so limited amount of places you can put them due to the shape. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, from the, the ones I've seen, they're always the same shape. Like, you don't come, you can't find one that's reverse. They're always the same, and I'm, I don't get that. Okay, nothing in here. Just a little laundry room. All right, then let's get started over here. They want us to remove these garage shelves and paint the place. Uh, when the when you're <coughs> aiming at something you're not supposed to sell, it will light up in red like this, so you can't sell it. Well, that's good. So you don't sell something accidentally. Yeah. Let's see. They want gray and gray fog here. I don't want to people. Is this a job thing people do? Uh, renovation. Uh, it would count as renovation, yeah. Yeah, that I understand. But the thing that gets me a bit stumped is like, they, like he is asking you on the letter to buy, get a good computer and all that. And that might be a bit much, but yeah, you. It would be similar to ordering a new PC from a store. Yeah, so you're asking someone else to do it for you, and then I'd be like, um, is it better that you buy your own PC yourself, and then maybe tell the renovator what kind of PC you bought, so they know how to organize it for it? Yeah, that it is stressing a bit, but. Yeah, if someone is willing to do the work, or is willing to pay for the work, then there will all pretty much always be someone willing to do the work. Yeah. Yeah, this is just the case where you hope the person knows what he's doing and will do a good job and not buy the cheapest uh, horrible computer they can. Yeah. Like it's, I guess it's also kind of a, a trust level on so many kinds. Either the, but so person should know what a good computer is, and yeah, not betray you at all in any way. There's so many things that can go wrong there. Yeah. Okay, nice little room. Certainly bigger than my closet here. Yeah. How big was your room again? Uh, like five meters across here and three to four here. I don't have exact measurements. I could make exact measurements, but this thing is a bit short for that. It's the measuring yeah. tape that I have lying on my desk for, yeah. I still, I still need to make slash can buy uh, <clears throat> uh, a mon something for my second monitor here to stand up because it's it's quite annoying in my neck to go like diagonal like that. Yes. And Berelius in the chat, yo yo, driving home from B ball listening. Uh, since when do you design homes? <laughs> since I bought yeah. this game. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, okay. actually, no. You have done the home designs before this game. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with uh, Ark and all a bit. Yeah, Ark and Valheim. Yeah. Okay, so four different tones in the room. One thing I'm annoyed with is that you can't paint their ceilings for some reason. In the mobile version, you can, but for some reason, in the full version, you can't. Okay, that's weird. Okay. But yeah, it's... I do have to say, I kind of like in Valheim, you're all encouraged to decorate your home and make rugs and such, but there is a benefit to it. Like, yeah, the resting buff. It, it, I like that it, you have a reason to make your home comfy. You also have a very good buff from it. It actually makes sense. Like, how much happier and well rested don't you feel if you have a nice home? Okay, the <laughs> the eternal gaming chair with these things. Uh, personally, I've heard that they are actually terrible for your back. Uh, yeah, I could hear that as well recently from a VTuber. 
basically a few months after I got my gaming chair. Okay. However, I do find it comfy for it. This gaming chair is more like a. Well, you can pull out an extra seat under it to rest your feet on. So it's a bit more like a comfy chair almost. Okay, I I, I was <clears throat> I was wanting to get uh, a gaming chair at some point, but yeah, apparently I'm just too tall for all of the standard models that they're selling. Where they're maybe they're aiming for kids or something. Wait, what? That's one I did not expect to hear from you. Says you you are a bit more average height, and let's be honest. You expect them to do better chairs for people in Netherlands. Yeah, in Netherlands. Yeah. Says they are known to be very tall. So. Yeah, it could yeah. be that they are just aiming more for well, kids with the ones that they are selling. And I think I accidentally overlapped those a bit. Or. This one I'm having is more made for someone my size, and I, I uh, yeah, I'm basically tall like a Dutch. So it fits, fits me perfectly. Okay, so we've, we just hit 70% of the up of the task completion, so we could end it right here. It, okay, that I just that was just an ugly <laughs> color. Like, what the hell is this supposed to be? Uh, good question. I have seen the pattern before, and that as well. Let's see. Let's go with white leather. And put that in the corner here, or Quite move it towards the corner. I think I think neutral to leather couches, like they look nice, but once they start to you know wear out, they look horrible. And they, uh, I guess they're also not the comfiest either. Yeah, a lot of it depends on the quality, I think. Yeah, like if, if you're wearing full clothes, sure. But if you're on summer and it's too hot, and you can all the way I think you can wear is un underwear. I know you all people been there where you have all forced to walk in underwear at home because it's so damn hot. Yeah, and, th then everything just starts to stick to you. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's the moment le leather is just. <laughs> it's the best word I can use. If you know that's a word. Okay. Even on hygienic as well. Yeah. And well, with the uh, <clears throat> with the planet warming more and more, those hot days are becoming more obvious every time. Do they want two of those lamps? Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh, reminds me when I still uh, had a sort of work at a super mall. It was it was in the a bit middle of the late spring? You know, the last uh, spring month. Yeah. Well, like three, two weeks away from the summer from starting. Actually, it might be a bit, a bit earlier. I was walking because it takes like. I used to go, go take the bus, but then I stopped. I just walked 40 minutes there, 40 minutes home. Exercise. As well, no longer had to wait for the bus. But one of those days, I walked there, I entered the office room for our special group, and I fainted. Okay. Or, well, sort of fainted. I collapsed because of it was so hot from the walk. And I was so out of it that, yeah, my boss for my group was very concerned. So yeah. she called my mother. Yeah, she should be. Because, yeah, bosses that are basically assholes to their uh, employees are going to get uh, back, you know, are, yeah. are going she... to get it uh, sooner or later when people just plain just do not want to work there anymore. Yeah, she was not the boss from the store, just a assigned group boss for pe special people like, you know, people like me who have syndromes. I've had that myself. Alright, so you know what I mean. But yeah, she was very kind. And yeah, my mom came and drove me home. After, but while I was still floor, just being... Uh, and then my boss came in water. I was able to speak somewhat, but I was very much good as brain dead. And it was probably due to, yeah, even she was not ready for, it. basically it was like, 
22 degrees or something in the middle of spring like the heat wave came from nowhere in the middle of spring yeah and no one was ready for it i can't say i've had fainting episodes myself uh, at any point and i must say i like i like this wood color it's it's different um, yeah, mahogany is this color, the brown, the dark brown. Oh, I know there is wood that is a bit purple, but I keep forgetting which wood it is. I feel, oh wait, yeah, it's Terraria that decided to have mahogany purple. For some yeah. reason. But yeah, I don't think I've really, ever really fainted, but I've been close to it. Collapse and uh, in a very dazed moment. Most of the time, it's, it was this one time for the heat and a few times due to stress that just made me fall to the ground. Okay, I can't say I've ever had stress fainting, uh, mostly because I seem to be somewhat resistant to stress, or maybe I'm just used to a certain amount of it that it doesn't seem to affect me. Yeah, I feel like, I think it, I've got to hear it from my doctor that it may be a side effect from my medicine. Like, it keeps me calm and all that, but there is a sort of level, stress level that instead of, yeah, getting very, very angry or something, I just shut down. Okay. It's I'm not entirely sure that you're supposed to do this with speakers, but, but I, I can't... Oh wait, are yeah. those supposed to be side speakers? Because I have... Those at the sides. Now, not those types, but I have speakers to the sides here. Yeah, I see people do that. That design is. I think it's very common for people who the dust the will uh, cinema ex experience. Let's see, can I put this thing in the? Okay, I can't put it in there. I'll just put it on to the side then. And yeah, I was already thinking, why do they want two con controllers like that? Okay, and that's all of everything here done. I'd say this looks like a pretty nice uh, hidey hole. Yeah, I kind of like it. If I was to design my own gaming room like this, I would actually use more older furniture, like a fix, you know, fix sturdy table. Yeah. That may look old school, but it would build character. And same with the table. I'm not sure what era it is. I don't want to say 1800. But yeah, you, you get the idea when I say 1800, like they have a pause and all that. Yeah, let me move this one a right. tiny bit more. There, that's better. That's a cool... And yeah, I haven't ever seen computer screens with that kind of feet. Uh, yeah, me neither. Most of the time they're solid from what I've seen. It's, this one has a solid foot, this one has a solid foot. Also yeah. something I had to note, the reason I went white with this thing is because I personally have a black uh, t uh, desk here and it's very easy to lose everything else on it because most of my other stuff tends to be black as well. Uh, yeah, my PC screen is black, my computer is black, and my current table is black, my mic is black, my computer mouse is black, my computer carpet is black. <laughs> Oh God! Wait. Yeah. Oh, my but <laughs> we have completed all of the tasks, so we can complete the job for seventeen and a half thousand euros. That's a lot. Yeah, I, I have also invested a bit in the perks that give you a better payout. So that also works. That that is basically one hundred and fifty percent of what the pie. <clears throat> of what the uh, cost would have been like here, 50% extra payment on the job. And apparently I had a... S okay, new perk after three more houses sold or completed jobs, okay. I haven't found what... I haven't really found where to open negotiation for prices. I'm guessing that is on house flipping, which we'll do now. Oh dear. Okay. Is that thing shown in real time yeah it is uh Andy. it is 11 26 here at the moment oh that 
That's something you don't see in games often. Right? Let's see. I didn't expect that. Uh, oh yeah, this game has had a few extra upgrade you know, patches and such. One of which added the freaking turtle house from Dragon Ball Z. Wait, it's from Dragon. Okay. The ones marked with this nuclear symbol have bunkers in them, like it said, your old house with bunker. Let's see. And house on the moon. Just <laughs> they just go fully, fully for this thing, for this silly. And okay, alone home. That looks to me like the house from Home Alone. I think that's the idea. <laughs> Family house. Yeah. Let's uh, let's see. A hidden gem, a cozy home on the Smile Island, far in the ocean. The previous owner is a renowned martial artist, ma martial arts master, who left this place to start his own dojo. Oh, Make House. I'm pretty sure it was called the Kame House. So they just swapped the letters around. Okay. It's just make. <laughs> yeah, but I think in the in the show it's called the Kame House with the K and the M swapped. Yeah, that, that would make sense. But uh, it's funny, funny how you pronounce make. Uh, when you're in a house, you bought, press escape, and in the option menu you can see the office button. Using it, you can put your laptop somewhere in the current house. Da -da -da. Yeah, that's what I already figured out on the previous house. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense that we came here with a freaking boat because there's nothing else in sight. Uh, question is, is that really the boat you would use to get over here? N no, <laughs> you'd want to go from a bigger boat from here. Yeah, okay. especially if you need a lot of uh, tools. Let's see. The minimap is already showing a lot of dirt. Uh, knowing the previous owner, that would make sense. And on the left side of the screen, we have some portraits of people. Those are people who would be interested in buying this place. Um, right. As you work, they that, like there you could see green arrows on everyone. Um, yeah, cleaning up will of course increase the price that you can sell stuff for. So yeah. it's a good idea to clean everything inside and out. Well, that's just pure logic. And as real as something concerning, but. I, I not really watch Dragon Ball. I've seen the Dragon movie. I test read it, and I don't like Dragon Ball really. However, I learned enough to know that if this is the guy I think it is, then oh, come know, on, there's his sunglasses even, <laughs> and a yeah. box for the Dragon Balls. Yeah, it confirms me it for me now. This is definitely the place where it's more than just dirt you should be concerned about. Yeah. What's this here? To do list: eat, sleep, train, find, find flipper balls, revive Krillin. <laughs> what? Uh, that's a Krillin in the uh, Dragon Ball had a habit of dying, <laughs> so they constantly okay. had to revive him with the Dragon Balls. Okay. Also, I'll presume those are spider webs and not something else clinging to the ceiling. <laughs> If they fail to make spider webs look like spider web look like something else, uh, that, that, that'd be just ah. be sad. It was on the ceiling, that stain. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of the time, the, it can be an, rather annoying to find some of the dirt, especially if you don't have, well, it <clears throat> don't have the perk for showing everything on the minimap unlocked. Uh, let's see. It, this place is surprisingly clean. Oh. Wait, is that empty? That's what is down here? Oh, here is where it's going to start with all the dirt, huh? Or not? Wait, what? Okay. I, I keep expecting to see piles upon piles of magazines and such, but no. <laughs> Yeah, knowing Rosie, he'd probably have to take... Hello there. Pro... Yeah, knowing Rosie, he would have taken all of those with him. Over his clothes, probably. Uh, let's get back to that in a moment, once I finish cleaning up the last bits. There's something on the outside here, but that that's, would be underground. 
Okay, that sounds like a development oversight. Okay, we have ball. See, oh, I've never no. really seen much of uh, most of the Dragon Ball series. Uh, I've seen a few episodes at random at best, and most of what I know of it is from uh, Dragon Ball Abridged and other people talking about it. Let's see. Yeah. That's... Same here. It was what made me feel like it's not for me. For I used to watch Bleach, but after a while I got tired of Bleach getting... Yeah, they got more and more and more extreme old power that it got... It got boring in the in the end for me. Mm. And I got the same feeling from Dragon Ball, but that they even would really make it worse. Like yeah, like the first I was to say. We have a character that only needs to flex to break an entire planet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then it just gets silly. Yeah. It... I don't mind when it's silly, uh... but there's a limit. Okay, there's a bit of a Easter egg hunt in with this place. Oh yeah, I was to comment that, that I feel like it, you probably are going to collect all those. Yeah. Let's see. We can't move the rocks. Uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a rather tiny place for the price that it was. So yeah, it makes sense that they put something else in here. Though I wonder what will happen when we do find all of these. Yeah, the, actually, I just realized a problem with this island. Hmm? This. I, imagine if there's a massive storm out here. Yeah. It would make sense if this island was a bit bigger and a bit higher from the water, but. Yeah, this house is horribly designed for this. Yeah, one tornado and this place is gone. Yep, or one very big wave. Oh, hello. I completely overlooked you. Actually, yeah, you don't even need a one very big wave, nope. just... <laughs> come on. Oh, come on, yeah. But yeah, only a regular large uh, rough uh, wave is enough to hit the house. And just, maybe not wreck it, but yeah, ruin the floor. Yeah, if the... <clears throat> if the ground around this place was uh, shallow, it would probably help prevent that, because waves can only be so big before they collapse in on themselves for so long. Yeah, and it, it doesn't look that shallow. Then again, we don't know, you know really where it is. Yeah, it so, could be in a calm place. Yeah, though again, do we see any land around? Nope. Yeah, that's a warning sign right away. Hmm. I wonder. Or we under. No, we can't break through here, so there is nothing behind it. Let's see. Technically, you could flip a house by just cleaning it up, uh, adding in some extra things, and then selling it. But it does help to make. Uh, to design houses a bit after what your sellers want, because they each or their buyers want, because they each have things they like, like uh, Chang Choi here. He, uh, let's see, t -t 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 student, yeah, he wants one only one bedroom, uh, shelves for uh, all of his books, uh, study place, so basically an office sort of. Uh, yeah, they also have dislikes. Though. Yeah, and I always hmm. notice a red flag. Uh, what? Dolan Trusk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, he has bought one of my uh, uh, houses before. Actually, the previous one before the one I was uh, I moved in myself. He bought. I, I feel like that's a reference to Donald Trump. Yeah. Though I can't say if that was here before or after. Oh, come on. Yeah, good question. <laughs> A cup of love. Um, after knowing that, that there is an old pervert in this building, makes him be a bit concerned. Hmm. Okay, 
where are the last two balls? I, f I find it a bit odd that you have two of these double doors and not just one leading in here. I think I, I think there is some building that the, uh, these have the, uh, that, and I'm no, yeah, I'm not sure either why. Sometimes they have something that makes sense, but that one is not one of them. See, is it hidden behind? Are they hidden behind something? I'm trying to see if there is anything. Does it even show? Ooh. If uh, would it even show if you're just moving something? Might as well put these aside a bit. Hmm. We've already found one in here. And you. Have you looked in the toilet? As in the toilet seat? Not there. That one looked concerning. Let's see. Could be on other things. I already checked the roof, so it's not in there. Wait, I didn't realize. If there's a toilet here, where the heck does the plumbing go? <laughs> uh, good question. One we're not going to try and answer. Yeah, just... Okay, maybe... maybe I'd, yeah, I, d I don't think I know really the laws around for this, but uh, I don't think you're allowed to just... Nowadays, I just uh, have it connected to the ocean like that. Uh, yeah. It's... I find it a bit odd that you can't... Some of these blinds you can't seem to open on their own. That's a bit weird. Uh, stuck on the poofs, I think is what those things are called, typically. Really? Poofs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. There we go. I, I, I was trying to ask you if you just going to do that. Um, Alright. Not in the oven. <laughs> uh, okay, nicely lit. Yep, and now we have many more places to look through. But there's many places with doors on. Yeah. Mm. Makes me wonder... Will something happen if you found them all? I presume. Let's see, we have one for the hammer for demolition. Uh, I forget the tiling and paneling here. Vacuuming, picking up manually, the selling device, painting. So that leaves only wall construction. Don't tell me there's this last one is literally going to be inside of one of the walls. Wait, was the last one you found inside something it was related to? Uh, not really, I think. Then it should hopefully not be inside a wall. Let's see. We can make this into a master bedroom, I'm guessing. There's, yeah, that makes sense. There's no lights in this one. It, it, I don't want to be like, like that a horrible house designed to have a ladder to your bedroom. <laughs> well, like, it would certainly prevent you from sleepwalking. True, but... Imagine when you really need to go to the bathroom. Then, yeah, maybe a ladder is not the best thing you want to climb up on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we missed one here before, so let's go give this... The rocks another look. And no, after also... after finding two here, I somewhat doubt that we'll find a third one. Yeah, you should probably look at it in the bathroom again. But yeah, our problem is if you have stairs, at least you can crawl up on them if you have hurt your leg and such. Yeah. But with a ladder, uh, good luck. Unless you have very good arms. Yeah. Let's see it. Go to first office. Okay. In 
Ah, there it is. Okay, now let's see what these things do. Oop. That's it. They just changed the night and day. There must be something more that we are missing. Maybe in the basement? Maybe. Let's check around a bit still. Oh, anyways. I'm stuck on something. Okay, that, that is a bit disappointing, but yeah, there, there's not too much else they could do with uh, giving you those things. Yeah, not without... Uh... Yeah, not without uh, maybe getting into legal problems. So yeah. You feel that you could done something more exciting that's a bit more comical. That's true. And uh, yeah, this this place, this house has basically been added so you can uh, live in the Kame house yourself for Dragon Ball fans. Yeah. Gosh. I forgot to, there was another anime someone tried to recommend me. But it was in the same vein that you were, they were actually going to fight gods, like Poseidon and such, and go all Dragon Ball Z style, and I'll be like, no, I don't want to watch it. But it's fun, it's fun! I'm not interested. Oh, wait, this is the old office. Yeah, this this is it already cleaned up a bit, and I'm... Is that your bed? Yeah, it was the cheap beds to buy. Uh, yeah, just a little upgrade here. I do not get why some of, with some of these things the first drawer comes into a different color compared to the rest. That's usually not a thing. Yeah. And right, I know you you tell you tell us you're stingy, but come on, that that bed, really? You're that stingy? It's yeah. No reason to go around looking here again. And the clock told me something I need to do. Be right back. Okay. Uh, let's go find another house to sell then. This one is the same kind as we are in right now, I'm pretty sure. So let's go look what this one is. A great opportunity, a sturdy house from the 1930s on a large plot of land and a great location for major renovation. Okay, 80 square meters. Only one floor, and house parcel area is that size big. I I don't know if you can. Um, <clears throat> I haven't found out yet if you can really expand a house or make like a shed. Okay, this is what more what I've what you usually see when you first arrive and need to clean up. Yep, yeah, this place is a <laughs> big size. You. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, I bought another house for actual major renovation. Uh, oh. Yeah, this is more akin of what you typically find when you first arrive. Holy! Ah, it looks horrible. Yeah. I do like the table. It looks sturdy. Let's see. You're... Oh, we're almost at an hour already. Yep. That's why I w walked away to turn on my air fryer. Okay. Clean the chicken burger there. Okay, I like that de desk. Uh, yeah, I kind of like they have drawers and such. Yeah. I'm uh, going to need to move it to get that last bit here. Let's put you over there. Interesting bottle. It's a vase. Oh. The hair for those are something like a rum bottle. Okay, why do you not want to go back into your place? Is it closer to share? It's away with you. Oh god, reminds me. I've actually been house flipping a bit of late in uh, one of our ARC servers. No? Oh. Yeah, and I wish I was a screenshot, and I think I may need to uh, make the house a bit bigger. 
Did you get too many dinos? No, I don't keep the dinosaurs inside the house. We only have one animal in there, right? that's uh, a Yerboa. Okay. Let's see, I think we've got most of the trash now. So, yeah, upgraded mop. <laughs> yeah, just goes through this place. Yeah, in our, on our house that I've been keeping up with, it's more like, once I fixed this, we have a bit more nice kitchen, it got quickly cramped, since we, we have a, a kitchen and a sleeping room in a single room. Okay. So, yeah, I probably need to expand it a bit so we can have a bit more space. For, yeah, the seating around the dining table really took up a lot of space. And I remember that you feel, sometimes feel a bit claustrophobic. Okay, just continue moving through this place with the mop cleaning everything up, which will... Okay, why are there red arrows now? Okay. I presume oh. everyone would want this place to be cleaned up. <laughs> Unless one of our clients was literally a hobo. <laughs> Does that happen? I haven't seen... I don't think you get any new buyers from the ones that are already here. Maybe they add new buyers every now and then. But I haven't seen it yet. Uh, oh yeah, these things are just gone. Yeah. Uh, and the, I sort of like the walls, but I do not like the... Dirt? Uh, yeah, and dirt. I don't like dirt either, but... Okay, uh, I feel like the... The combination of these walls and floors is a bit too much. Yeah. Like, ah, there. The walls can stay, but change the floor. Yeah, this time to get dark. It, it The game has a day and night cycle. You can turn it off to make things easier. But we have a flashlight for now. <laughs> uh, did I clean the windows here? No, I did not. I, I should see how much it can get. What a huge mess did our hurricane. Yeah, sometimes they will comment as well on things, uh, like saying they like this or that, or they do not like this or that. You can use that to aim <coughs> to aim your project at uh, one or two specific buyers. Alright. Keep moving around it. Who has pants on the oven? Okay. Uh Someone that hopefully knows that the oven is either broken or unplugged. Yeah. And these, these aren't even hot pants. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. <laughs> no! 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 You shall... Mm. <laughs> you shall oh. not pass. You sh more like, you shall not break me. Yeah. It was more, but yeah, yeah, I don't want to knock too loudly now. <laughs> I don't know if the nephew is still sleeping or not. Okay, a bit more st junk on the outside to clean. Let's see. Yeah, that this dirt minimap upgrade is really useful for finding everything. Because I, I think if you manage to remove all of the dirt, it gives a big bonus to how much you can sell the place for. Which yeah, well, makes sense. You, if you're going to buy a house, you don't want to clean it uh, like we are doing right now. So, yeah, we technically we would want to buy a house that needs cleaning. Yeah, oh, that reminds me. It's one of the times in dorm school that you have to clean your room before you leave. And my, one of my grandmothers uh, uh, helped me. And the uh, unexpected thing happened. Mm -hmm. Everything I had cleaned was praised. But everything my grandmother cleaned was criticized. Okay. And here's the thing. My mo grandmother, on my mother's side, is a clean freak. Alright. So, yeah, you can imagine how annoyed she was. Okay, now that everything has been cleaned up, 
Let's look around it for anything damaged uh, that we can sell, like this table that that's just plain going. Yeah, These look, look damaged. Like, it, could, it looked like it was a good table once until, yeah, whatever had happened to it. Yeah, some of these houses do have the excuse that they've literally had a fire, but uh, not this one. Yeah, this one is more like uh, the painting is falling off. Let's see. Uh, this will be the bedroom. Uh, just looking at the comp, <clears throat> at the comments. Okay, I think we could make this. Uh, a house for the second ones in line, the the couple there. But for now, though, we finish outfitting the house. Uh, let's see, installations, heating, radiator. All right. And, and we can easily assemble these just by clicking the things and holding on them. Yeah. And there. Wait. You said we were on that hour all mark already. Uh, not yet. We are at 15 minutes uh, at the moment, so I'll quickly just install the necessary bits. Uh, and then the, once we hit an hour, I will sell it then and see what happens. Right. I ha I've, sp I've spent uh, a little hour on some of these renovations. So yeah, let's uh, not have that happen this time. Yeah, I, I can understand you though. Sometimes you end up spending way more time than it's expected. And again, I was playing a bit orc today this morning on the server just to see if I can do something, and I ended up doing some renovation. For some reason, one of our dinosaurs again cannot exit the gate, which annoyed me for he could do it yesterday. So I had to use one of the another mod gate. Just that was not extremely lost just to fix that only later to see if we can go and quick tame something i get robbed by a seagull <laughs> and he stole 20, 50 narcotics oh yeah they, they really should have added something in there that if um, one of those damn things steals narcotics that it should knock itself out yeah and i have heard that it's a bug when they do that to your weaponry Luckily enough, uh, a friend gave me back the item because of that, for this was a bug and pre bullshit. However, this thing, Pagos, if they steal from you, you can kill them and get your stuff back. But when seagulls do it, it's they gone. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. And they are, luckily on Crystal Isles, they are more often in walking around, which makes them easily, like if you see one, just crossbow it and we'll die usually for the first shot, even then a medium or high level one usually will do it as well. But when they are in the air, good gods. Okay. Uh, seven minutes left. That should be enough to renovate some of the rooms here. Nice. And it uh, looks like Donald is still the top buyer. And okay. Uh, here the food. All right, let's at, let's at least put in some freaking doors. Let's see, one by two. Um, let's go with let's go with some contrast. There you go. Okay, that's yeah. a thick as door. I really hate the seagulls of art. I really do. No, it's the frame that was thick. It's, the door is thin, but okay. Okay. We buy many. Yeah, that, that kind of was the problem I had with the gate today. If I quicker remove the door itself, any animal can pass through. But the problem is, I'm supposed to have a door at the gate. So in case something like a seagull aggros uh, on me, I don't have animals running through their uh, enclosures after me. Uh, let's see, bathroom door. Here. Uh, let's see, can we match that with this wood perhaps? It's dark brown. Burned beach. Ancient, uh, American, not ancient. Elm. 
brown, brown. I should probably look up what D is for. Ah. I know we have those in Sweden, we do. Just not sure which one it is. If we are supposed to call them book. Though, might not be the book thread. Ah. Okay. And then now we start going to furniture. Bedroom. Tonsmith? What? I... Okay, there are some interesting names. Orion's boy's bed. Italian lover. Yeah, we are aiming for the... Or we were aiming for the couple. And there they are again. Let's see. I am... Hmm. Isn't that a bed a bit too small? Uh, well, they want two bedrooms, so it works with that. Let's see, let's go with this thing. Yeah, for, uh, you should always see if they want those round beds. They're usually massive, so you can easily sleep in them. But this one, yeah, um, I, I guess it depends how tall they are, or uh, if they are human to begin with. I imagine a snake person would love it. Let's see. Quickly exchange this thing for something better. Yeah, might as well show this thing in. Okay, is Donald still wants this yeah, lot the most for some reason? I don't trust him. Uh, yeah, you 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 <clears throat> you have to figure out what each buyer likes and dislikes on your own by trying things out. Because like it's we'll say here, what well, they have bought no houses, and we have no information on what they like and not. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. A uh, table in here. I s something that annoys me is, why is there Donald Trump reference in this game? Uh, he has been around for longer than, well, his failed presidency. So, yeah, he was... he. He was a point of uh, ridicule before that, even. Yeah, and I heard that many people did not know he appeared in Home Alone 2. Yeah. And as quickly they realized that, people started to dislike the movie. I, I think his, I think there was a recent release of that movie again, uh, where they actually removed him from it. <laughs> yeah, I, I still wonder why he was in the movie to begin with. A uh, random cameo. Just... Yeah, just... Yeah, a bit weird, and... Uh, yeah, I can't understand why they would have removed him for... After his presidency, he has done way too much harm. To his, to his country, and... Yeah, to... to almost to the world. And to his own brand. Yeah. Even though he seems to be trying to do it for his secret brand, like he's a fight and all that, but... Yeah, good luck. You're showing you the self the opposite of being strong. Let's see. Yeah, and but I enough politics uh, for yeah. this now. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, we should probably avoid politics, especially in reg regards to that guy. Yeah. For now, we have a bit. Oh, we have a minute left, so we just plonk down a, a TV. Uh, might as well throw down a few speakers. A table. Hmm. Furniture, uh, living room. Yeah. I, hmm? figure, I figure that I would love to see speakers in wooden frame, but the wooden frame is, is inspired by old furniture, like from the 1800s or such. Okay. It, it would be an interesting look. It's still more modern for, well, they didn't have speakers in 1800. So it would be a very interesting speaker. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, per I personally advise to just paint the freaking rooms already, but that takes a bit of time. So, yeah, that is going to turn down the, co the price a lot. So, yeah, well, we're plan. out of time, so let's see how much they are actually willing to pay. We paid it for 51, we spent 400, 
Let's see what they... Um, oh, 63 already, okay. Uh, here you can also get some info on what they like or not, but it doesn't get no right down. It, like, these two have always been contradictory. Like, this, the house is very clean. The whole house is clean, very nice, but as a negative. That, what? Uh, yeah, Dolan Trusk <laughs> still wants it all the same for some reason. Is he just buying our stuff to uh, to sell through to someone else? I think that's the word they added him. He's supposed to probably be that kind of person. Maybe. Guess and should yeah. feel overwhelmed when they go through the door, so why does the hallway look so shabby? Okay. You actually get an achievement for selling to each and every one of these people. Like, uh, I've sold to her, I've sold to them, and I've sold to Dolan, so I have, I'm actively aiming for other ones, but I still want to get as much money from these as possible. Oh, yeah, here, I shift, think, enter, negotiate. Uh, let's yeah, see. There was someone there called the Traitor in the last name. <laughs> yeah. This concerns me. Let's see. Will they do it for this price? A little bit more. Okay. And there we go. But uh, yeah, it, this is a fun little game. It you you have to put in your time a bit to get started. But yeah. if you have some idea of wanting to be a interior decorator or just want to see how certain combinations of colors look like this is a cream color contrasted against gray here we have silver with well all of the dark wood uh, framing this probably doesn't work as well but yeah still need to work on here uh, yeah but for now let's exit the game and move on to the second one. I think people like in this game because it is sort of relaxing in a way, especially when you get to the decorating part. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, you see myself in Ark and, and uh, Valheim and Pix Ark. I like to make things look good and comfy. Yeah, and there's actually something funny about uh, with that. Oh, uh, oh. You got your volume up a bit high. Uh, my father is a bit of an interior decorator himself. He does uh, a lot of uh, work with that. And apparently he found the game to be boring. <laughs> Probably because it reminded him of too much of that. Let's see. I just got a options menu while, while starting the next game. So I might as well throw everything here to the maximum. I am not playing at 640, 480. Throw that all the way up to... 920 anti aliasing yes no v sync because v sync is an always annoying high yeah. detail Actually, and start i can stand you for a bit for but the game looked nice that it does the, the game did sort of feel slightly soulless okay uh, might have a bit of a okay uh it started up there and it immediately threw up borders at the side of the screen and hmm is it and now it's just messed up with my okay it resets it messed with my resolution there uh, would it bring that up again let's see audio yep. device is there a way to set hmm Okay, there's no option for playing this in windowed, so I'll have to start it up without Drakir being able to see for a bit. Though the stream should catch it in about a few seconds, because it's set to finding everything... There we go. Everything that is full screen. So I'll have to... Let's see. Can I switch it to display? No, I can't. Let's turn those on, just to be sure then. Uh, yeah, this is this is a this is a console port. Okay, this is going to be a bit annoying then, because since it won't go windowed, 
I can't share it to Dirk here, so he can't commentate on it live. Or at least commentate on it with sound live. But I can share my OBS feed to him. Which will show the game as well, but it won't give him audio. So he won't be able to react to that. So it's a good thing I it has subtitles then. I'm still annoyed that I put these borders on the side here. It's, it's showing it the image stretched on the stream here. And I only now notice that my face is still getting lit up by sunlight reflected off a car over there. <laughs> okay. Almost back. But yeah, this game I heard of before, basically because it was, well, the name, <clears throat> basically because it was shown to be very advanced in water physics at the time. I don't remember when this game was launched, and I probably should put, uh, let me put those up, blinds up. Yep, I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, the game doesn't do windowed. So I can't share it to you directly, but I can share the OBS feed to you. Alright, uh, are you showing it at the moment? Uh, oh wait, it's, it's being dumb again. There we go, now I see. Okay. OBS it does have subtitles, so you, sh you should still be able to read along. Oh, that's good. As long as it's uh, stay clean, though it's from the OBS, I think the OBS should stay clean. Yeah. Uh, as I said, that you can pixelate that. <laughs> <laughs> Timing. Uh, there is no existing game progress. I. This is literally the first time I started this game up. And yeah. let's go normal. flood and how nanocells technology is poised to deliver a brighter future the catastrophic effects of the population flood can be alleviated if we I'm keep our faith in science our nanotechnology will one day make the deserts bloom with food for all mankind and our inevitable tonight will take us one step closer to that okay so basically the world is overpopulated but there is a what is going on? Your celebration of Queen of the Worlds ship or something? That must be the ship, I'm guessing. Or are we on it already? It said that the tenth anniversary of the ship. If we are on that wait, I see I think we either we are at the harbor or at the shore, or we are on the ship, because I'm only seeing sea out there. But... That's... There's some massive boat. It's it is, it has an ice teeth on it. Scoot? I might get the wrong idea if you keep calling me when you're off duty, Miss Wilson. My system just went down. Anything I should know about? The party of the century is happening on your doorstep, and you're staying at home. I'm gonna check on the network. You know I don't pay overtime, right? Okay. Points system. It, the, the graphics look a bit dated, but I wouldn't say they look bad. Yeah, they sound sharp, man. I did... When she woke up... I first thought it was the... One of the Resident Evil characters. <laughs> uh, Rebecca, perhaps? If I remember Probably. the names right? Yeah, I think it might be Rebecca. I'm a bit bad about their names. The only one I remember that their name is it well is not from Resident Evil, but from Dino Crisis. Okay, uh, we can actually... Oh yeah, we can move things around because this system works with... Uh... Oh, what's this here? 
Climber's Choice Rated Wrist Vans. Fully adjustable with a contour design for a custom fit to your wrist or ankles. Soft terry cloth interior absorbs moisture and is non abrasive on your skin. Reflective trim for better visibility at night. Okay. Rated Wrist Vans. Okay, so. Sort of like Dragon Ball Z's rated clothes, but a lot less. <laughs> basically, for to. Yeah, basically just weights to wrap around your arms. So, uh, yeah, you can get more training out of a, an exercise. Welcome aboard the Queen of the World, it's said without subtitles. So, we are on the ship, I think. Okay, listen, your system failing hardly amounts to a security threat. Just let other people do their jobs for a change. Well, there's no harm in checking, is there, Scoot? Fine, fine, I'm too busy to argue with you. Where are you? I'm just by the uh, security post in D-Cell. D-Cell? What are you doing down there? I'm working so that you can have the night off. Scoot, I don't need a night off. Oh, uh, crap. of games to the inspiration from Resident Evil. Jade is quite agile, but that uh, should be expected from uh, someone who climbs. It's a hobby. The game is being a bit loud. How? How did this happen? All I know is the ship was attacked. Attacked? The shuttle plaza. You can get to the upper decks from there. Go! Quickly! Okay, but... What about you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Diesel wasn't hit, at least not yet. But I'll leave when you're safe. This door is malfunctioning. See, I think you're being drowned out a bit if you were speaking there. Malfunctioning door, near the elevators was malfunctioning, they didn't seem to be damaged, more like a software malfunction. Even if the main door systems are offline, they should all default back to local control. It's not your problem, Kate. Just get to the shuttle plaza. This isn't any after escaping the elevator shaft, examine the mount. Eh? Oh. Like an achievement. Okay. Jesus. Who did this? The and Wilhelm scream. Another thing. We've been attacked, Jesus. I was almost killed if it wasn't for Scoots. What? Uh, who could have done this? The damage seems to be coming from inside the ship. How did they get on board? Shit! Yeah, that's not going to work with doors that big. Hang on. 
How could they hack the system without us knowing? They couldn't. That's what worries me. How loud is the game on your end? Uh, it's louder than you, so let me take a look if I can up your volume here. Uh, where would I even do that with a direct call? No, not there. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's have a little look at how loud the game is being recorded. Quite a bit loud, so let's lower the volume a bit. Settings, sound. Let's keep that decently loud so we can at least hear people talking. Because even with subtitles, we well, it's always re <coughs> preferred right. yeah. to yeah. hear instead. Program from the central console. Officer, I need to use that console. Hey! Yeah, he's... Uh, he's dead! Yates is dead! What? The monitors... There's some kind of sick message! It's being broadcast all over the ship. I'll look into it. Just get the hack program and get the hell out of there. Are they being attacked by a terrorist group? It sounds like it. Officer Yates is dead. Murdered. I found his body. How long was I unconscious for? There's only a skeleton crew down here. Everyone else is celebrating on the upper decks. Yates didn't stand a chance. The killer could still be nearby. Save the world. Kill yourself. What the hell is happening? Oh no. Yeah, this is some sort of eco-terrorist thing. When the user does not possess the right, the correct frequency key, they can attempt to manually override a system firewall with this module. Primary primarily used by security engineers for system maintenance. Okay. Okay, I've got it. We're going to have to hack back into our own system. In it's the only way to regain your security access. That promotes suicide. Now get the security control. Let's back past the elevators. What's that beeping? Wait a second. Uh-oh. What is that? What are you talking about? That's an explosive. Oh shit, take run. Kate? Damn it. I'm all right, Sku. I'm okay. Ah, the door won't open. I can't get out. The access circuits are fried. You'll have to hack the emergency release. Okay. Oh, damn. I can't get to it. Is there another yeah, way it around? It like this eco-terrorist group is definitely a combination of that religious group. Yeah, let's see. In all the bad ways. Air pocket? Okay, that means that we're going to be swimming eventually. What the hell are you doing? Well, you did take out to the show plaza. Yeah, it I is. was thinking you could use the lower it entrance. It is called after a ward, after all. I ha the, uh, the, <clears throat> the voice acting is a bit subpar. I I was not aiming that way. Okay, just drop the body right back there. Oh, and now we have to. Okay, okay, I've got it. It's access. it's not terrible, but it's not amazing either. And Wait a second. Okay, we can at Damn. least skip here. Can't get to it. So it's basically just like around? over the evil games. Uh, 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 sort of. Are you doing? Well, so you did say go to the show plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. It has entrance. so many it has evil vibes from so many times. Wait. What the hell's going on down there? I guess the security force found the bad guys. Dude, this is something I don't see in many games. That you have to keep balance. Past it, so let's go back a bit. Space and jump. Uh, oh, come on. The <laughs> Damn. I yeah, yeah, let's see. Explosions. They must have had help on the inside. How else could they get explosives down here? 
Rates 2000 kilopascals, that's ex external durability. What if the force is coming from the inside? How big were those explosions? If this uh, threat's internal, my god, the, m the hull Send might not hold. It. Is there another way around? Uh, what the hell are okay. you doing? Well, you did say go to the shuttle plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. Yeah. And, I don't know, it's talking about a suicide cult terrorist group. Makes me uneasy. Yeah. Again, as I said, there is a cult at the moment in your state that is. Kate. Openly promoting Damn. and have a say of all that to, to shout is at people to kill around? themselves. Like that's the <sighs> religious goal the to do it. Well, yeah. You did say go to uh. the plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. So stupid. Yes, we're all overpopulated, but come on. That suicide cult. Uh. Uh. If I do. No, yep. They might. I'm Dad, supposed to get over there. Get to it. Is there another way around? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Well, you did say go to the shuttle plaza. Yeah. I Come on. If, if the game the is going entrance. to be this obstructive, in that it doesn't allow me to jump over here, then this is going to be a very short uh, bit, bit. This. Yeah. It always looks like it's a bit. Extremely hard early on. Like, or maybe I'm just getting something wrong here. Like, do I need to face it? I, I can't face it. I can only turn around here. What the hell's going on down there? I guess the security force found the bad guys. I'm presuming I don't. It it slid me to go there, but the only way I can jump there is by. Jumping back. Yeah, I you Damn, just can't reach it. Can't get to it. Is there another way around? Okay, I'm getting tired of hearing those lines now. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, uh, well, this is you did say go to the shuttle plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. Uh, what were you saying there? Is basically still in, in a way of a tutorial level. Yeah. Like it says space plus movement key jump in the chosen direction. But she will only jump forwards here. So maybe like no. Kate! One last try, Damn. then this game is I dead. Get to it. Is there another way around? Yeah, it, it's uh, <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Yeah, it's been a bit unnecessarily complicated. Yeah, I was uh, it's not being overcomplicated, it's just not working. Or maybe you are, are maybe we're supposed to go somewhere else, but it's literally pointing us towards here. So where else sh should we go then? Or could we go? It's, it's literally telling to, to aim and jump here. But every we jump we've tried, we just cannot reach it. So Either the game is just plain broken, or there it's just telling, giving us the, it's telling us the wrong thing. Can't go any further that way. Let's redo this, and then immediately, no. Nope. That looks like a control flaw. But it, you should be able to just turn around and look over there. She just plain can't reach it. Damn! I can't okay, get quick to look it. here. Is there another way around? Shut up. Let's see. Um, hydrophobia game. Jump to short or something? Not sure, it's short. She so can't jump forward from.
button? Press jump then forward. Every angle pressed 45 degree freaking jumps to her desk. Let's see. You aren't supposed to just jump across. You actually have to lean to the side of the beam until you're hanging from it. Then you have to press back and jump to get across. But we did that multiple times now. Is this a no? That's a that's a different place. <laughs> Okay, come on. Six minutes in on this thing. Let's see. Come on. Wait. That's not. Hmm? That is a completely different place. Are, are we actually supposed to go across the entire freaking area or something? Or is it just completely later in the game? Yeah, that seems to be completely later in the game. So, I, I think the game may just actually be broken. Looking any further, ta -ta -ta -ta, everything, combination of buttons. Wait, turn VSync on. Is this, is this game lit? Let's give a shot on that. And even as stupid as it sounds, and it's not in here. Or it would be on the display. Are you telling me it's unplayable without V-Sync? Okay, this is also stupid that it goes from the menu straight back to the game I'm pressing escape. It's just stupid. Just no basic controls. C to make job. Okay. Is there anywhere else to jump through here? What the hell are you doing? Well, you did say go to the show plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could oh, use well, the I lower think entrance. Kind of what's going on. Hmm? I, I hope he's not like that. I think you're doing it right, but I, I'm worried you're wrong, jumping from the wrong location. Or wait, this is 19 meters. What? I think if I was that right, it's telling you where you should jump from and over. But no, that doesn't make sense. No. I'm going to after this. I am going to. I'm starting restarting this thing uh, with the V-Sync on. Exit, help and options, it's just the same in here I presume, yep. <sighs> and this was a, a, a more modern release of this game, specifically for the computer, like it's even got the ex Hydrophobia Prophecy added to it. So, yeah, that, this is just a. Comp if it's really just dependent on VSync, that the game literally can't be played. If it's having too many frames per second, then 
Yeah, that's an other death sentence. Yeah. Maybe. Very different now from uh, adding that. Uh, oh wait, speech like that. What the hell are you doing? All oh, right, uh, I realized I had my glasses off and cleaned them while looking. Of course, I didn't realize I pixelated them. Okay, let's lower the voice as well because if I have to hear that line one more time, it's going to flip out or something. I was thinking. Gunfight in the plaza. There's a security post nearby. It's possible they hacked the system from there. If they were, if they are Billingham's men in the plaza, maybe they've cornered the attackers. This could be an isolated incident. A handful of protesters from Prolineville. Uh, maybe I'm just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You could use the lower entrance. Either that really is because I turned V-Sync on, or because I tried holding the button down longer for this jump this time. You do know it's a crime to hack the ship systems, don't you? your first defense. Just keep it quiet. I've got a reputation here, you know. Yeah. V-Sync was meant to make sure it was easier to play a game. Just like the good old days, King. Now, back to the main assignment. It's even unlocked the tinker. What was the first person of V-Sync again? Careful, Kate. Uh, V-Sync limits the game's frame rate to the fra to the maximum frame rate of the computer or of the of the screen. Oh. Uh, yeah, th th this let's hold on there. Tenth anniversary party. Uh, probably shouldn't hang out too long near this all of this because of all the smoke. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any difference between me holding down the button while jumping and just tapping it. So I have ab absolutely idea, no idea if that actually was from turning V-Sync on or not. Okay, that's our pass blocked. Move where? Right. They literally just... Okay. Uh, down the flashlight. Okay. This is not going to end well. This is literally just filling up like slowly. Okay. Hit. Come on, I hit it, didn't I? Hit. Oh, that released the door. I, that isn't going to remove all of the water. And okay, now the place is completely flooded, so there's no air. Don't stop, Kate. Oh. You're almost there. Yep, uh, getting pushed around. Okay, come on. Limited air Okay, the camera was freaking out there for a moment. Okay. So stay on top of the water. We still have plenty of air for now. Hell, the man upstairs must like you. You're directly below security control. You just need to find a way up. I didn't sign up for this. Who is that? What is going on there? Are they? 
they're stuck, but they're not within the water. Well, you don't want to be stuck uh, when the water is about to arrive. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's keep moving whilst the water here is at a reasonable level. Yep. Yeah, and what kind of clothes is he wearing? Like yeah, like some sort of climbing gear. Is it more like? It? How does it do react to the water? Oh, we need to go. Hmm. Like, you expect uh, to be close and get a bit discolored by the water. What the hell? Okay, now that at least the movement or the, the jumping issues have been covered. The water effects are impressive and... Yeah, oh shit. Uh, come on, move, move, move. We need to get out of there. I'm not sure. I don't remember when this game came out, but I'm not. I don't know for. Hey, can you hear me? Eh. I. I'm not sure if this game came out before or after parkour became a, uh, a thing that a lot of games were going to, were working with. Wait, wanted by the. Have to do it. Uh, does it say a name? I'm not seeing a name. Scars and marks. Eh? Wanted by the Queen of the World Security Force. Myla Crass. Assault. Uh, I think we might have some bigger fish to fry now. Is there anything up here? It allows us to get up here, so... Oh, uh, hello. Eh? Queen of the World Anniversary Globe, manufactured from the finest hand-blown glass with an elegant stainless steel base, this beautiful globe starts a decade-long voyage across the oceans of the world on board the first truly global city. So it is, it is a city ship. It is just a, a giant <laughs> fucking city on a boat. It makes you wonder why... I guess the protesters don't like the ship due to it might be environmentally, environmentally bad to have such a large ship going about. Yeah, it could be the standard of uh, rich people, uh, poor people, uh, yeah, and such. So basically, kill the rich thing, even when yeah, said rich also includes the people the man, working for them. Like but they said save you the world and kill up. yourself. I didn't sign up for this. Uh. Yeah, we'll find out more as we continue on with this. Though I have to say I would have liked it if they had did a bit of a preview of the of the entire ship instead of just going straight into mayhem. That adds more uh, weight to everything going to hell. Because now as it stands we started in you know, in chaos, so we don't know how things on the ship are used to be, are, are supposed to be. Yeah, we have a little bit of movement of not for long. Yeah. It really like within a minute or so, things start blowing up. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah. I'm trying to see why people would have disliked this game when it originally came out, because it's not explaining it's it's okay, has you. Hell, the man upstairs must like you you directly breach I'm trapped down here the hull's breach no this can't be happening if it's not real I have to escape I have to get out below security control okay, she's on the you verge of a, a panic attack I didn't sign up from the this. sounds of it Makes you wonder if that's like old old drama or something? Billingham? What the hell? Maybe she has hydrophobia? Yeah, I'm guessing that is uh, the case that uh, a bit of a reaching guess is that the, the the girl we saw at the entrance might have been or at the intro of the game that might have been Kate's sister. Uh, perhaps that they drowned. Oh. Uh, and that from that, uh, Kate developed the fear of water. Yeah, can you 
Oh, hello. Uh, Documents opens the debate. If, even if you survive drowning, you could do a fear and give have yourself nightmares like she had, where you actually drown and die. Yeah. Even if you have survived it. Yeah, but my guess for now is that <clears throat> uh, Kate's sister Jenny drowns, but it is a guess. It, it is how games like this usually go. Uh, yeah, if, if you've played, if you've been gaming for over a decade or so, you start to see the threads that most stories are written on. But yeah. yeah, it's it's just a guess, no real evidence beyond well a nightmare and a randomly said name in confusion. <clears throat> Okay, the story of the Great Population Flood begins in 1798 with the publication of Thomas Matthew Matthews, now implements an essay on the principles of population. His argument was clear, population would always accelerate beyond the capacity of resources to sustain it, and his analysis was influential, not least in the works of Darwin and Marx. During the following two centuries, Mathul was all but disregarded as advances, advancements in technology allowed resources to be artificially increased to feed the growing population. However, at the turn of the 21st century, as the world became preoccupied with climate change, it began to dawn on scientists that Mathul's dire predictions had not been wrong, they had merely been delayed. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, overpopulation yeah. is going to be a problem. We're prob already Jeez, some to a degree. Yes. Is in here. <laughs> I'm detecting water behind the door. Okay, I need side scan. I can use that to open it. Chief, where's the nearest console? Upstairs. <laughs> the office above me. Go now. Needs an engineer to the come to his rescue. <laughs> this is priceless. The way to deal with it is would be to colonize the moon or the Mars or the But it's sadly the more quicker ways. It's sadly a global plague for a lot of third world war and such. What is this mark here? M. Let's put the circle. Uh, Martin, it's called this for, from that to one. Maybe, or it's just random graffiti, but... Uh, yeah, I personally... Well, we've already had uh, <coughs> Corona with uh, messing around with the population a lot. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and it, it, that one though was aimed for the weak and old. Which I guess we do in many or many elderly people on, some more in other countries, but still, it... In yeah, a, uh, the people... best way I'd see to prevent overpopulation would be by uh, just uh, limiting reproduction. Not, re not strictly by making it illegal or something like in Ch they had in China, because that brought its own problems, but by uh, yeah, how how would you even say that? To, hmm. Yeah, it it would be a difficult thing to balance between the rights of people and well global security. So yeah, that is that is a debate that is going to last for quite a while. And yeah, personally, I, I doubt we will see the full effects of overpopulation starting in this decade or so, but in the 22nd century I think it might start becoming a real problem. Yeah, is it also, there's another problem that also helps with this population thing, is many people expect you to have children. Yeah. And that's the problem is, as I told you before, another, another Dutch friend as a woman has even by her doctor been looked her down upon because she doesn't want children. And, it got, and that doctor started to look down on her. And everyone, and many people look down on her because she doesn't want children. Yeah, and that's just that's a, a societal pressure and sort of a biological one because, well, the entire point of uh, a living creature is to 
pass on its genes to its offspring, but firstly, I say I have no interest in having children for multiple reasons. I'd, ra I'd much rather pass down philosophies and ideas than uh, genetics, because I, um, my genetics are probably rather screwy e either way. Yeah. I'm glad that my youngest brother, no, not 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 the youngest brother, but uh, to my twin and my oldest younger brother have children. I'm happy for them, but I don't want my children own. I'm I'm happy to be an uncle. So, simply mm. enough. Yeah, a, a, yeah. Um, a few of my cousins and nieces have children, but I have no. Yeah, I'm glad which what how things are as is. Anyways, Patriots yeah. do not tolerate crime. Myla Crass is wanted on suspicion of the following offenses against the constitution of the five founding fathers of the Queen of the World. So this thing counts as its own country, or a, mo a mobile city-state. People smuggling, tampering with secure systems, uh, ship systems, citizen ID fraud, assault, resisting arrest. Please report any information immediately to our Queen of the World security officer, Commander Jake Gardland. Okay, I'm guessing if it would be a big jump from people smuggling uh, to trying to destroy the entire thing, but so I'm guessing this is either a side thing or maybe a possible red herring. That uh, or oh. Oh, come on. What if the people smuggling was to smuggle in uh, people to help blow up the damn thing? Could be. Yeah, big operations like this need small uh, operators to build up enough Shit. Shit. Uh, okay. capacity for so things. Yeah. Frequency key upper uh, security complex uses frequency key to go locate the cipher for the upper security complex. Once you have downloaded the cipher, you will be able to unlock the encrypted doors in the area. Okay. Scoot. So a bit of Metroidvania as well. Looks yeah. like a frequency no. key. Uh, you would definitely need an it's insider. A program. But if you have Let's too many insiders in some situation, it could become a problem. Yeah, the more people are involved with something, the more chance there is of it leaking. Yeah, so you want to have a few insiders that's more matchable, that maybe have like the people smuggling Hold a few ones. There's hidden messages. And yeah, th this is totally like Metroid scanning pr uh, system. The power of population is so superior to the pop power of the Earth. Okay. Constantly subject the lower classes of society to distress, to prevent and create permanent ad okay, of their condition. In all secrets, even that, even those that are most visible, I think, uh, the tendency of a virtuous attachment is so strong. <laughs> Cipher marker. Okay. Uh, this has been going on for a time because. I doubt all of this was written all at once, and I presume we're going to find a lot of this all across the entire... F there is a fucking lot of it. This could not have been done uh, so s soon, so quickly. Yeah, this, this is not just a terrorist group. It is, as I said, this is a combination of terrorist group and a cult. Yeah, a terror yeah, cult. cult. Yeah. And it, like this could claim it. A cult is not meant to be the wrong third term, and a lot of people are sick of it. I understand. Cult is just meant to mean a religious group, just become a bit dark. If you to use the term. Uh, let's see here, yeah. Jaws. I really hope that we can do something before Some overpopulation becomes a problem. Cipher. Jesus, looks like mission orders for the terrorists. The code for the local door controls, it's embedded in the file. Unit A. How long have they been planning this? A 
up a security complex. That's a go by misdirected compassions. We see with clarity the coming storm and are ready to embrace it with our lives. The reprobates will respond to their fear predictably. By now, Gartland has led his forces into our trap, and Billingham's attention is consumed by our brother Wilkinson. You will free Wilkinson from Billingham's cell, and together you will neutralize him, kill all who stand in our way, and return to the shuttle plaza. Okay. Oh no, I think I, I think I have an idea what is going on. They intentionally just want to kill the sink a ship just to kill people. Yeah. Uh, is that going to stop? Or yeah, it is. Okay. The, well, okay, that maybe was obvious before, but now you see it like that, and we was. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Gio Joe's face when he's that rescued. That a bit more for him. Yeah. One thing to prevent overpopulation is a good desire, but you do that by not procreating yourself. If you start murdering to save people, then yeah. you're just being a hypocrite. Yeah, um, yeah. look at Thanos. Sure, some plants got to stay way built before it, but Shit, come on, I off the now. planet. Oh, that's a rather obvious terrorist look. Uh, there was actually there's actually a Dorkly video about Thanos uh, that gave actually some smart insights in that well by destroying half of all life in the universe Thanos would would actually have destroyed more like three quarters of the population because yeah when you just banish half of everyone that is going around you are also destroying all of the supply lines that are keeping those people alive. Yeah, like cattle, animals, and good gods. Some animals it may also get the... Like, uh, animals that are already extinct, gets it worse! Yeah, let's see. Though, I think... I think it wasn't outright stated, but more hinted... ...that uh, it was only really sentient life that was removed. Uh, with, like, the blue whales line in Endgame, I think. But yeah, if if <clears throat> if you're going to uh, if you're going to just kill half of all uh, sentient beings in the universe, then a lot of those people are also going to be like truck drivers, uh, cargo plane pilots, uh, cargo ship captains, and uh, yeah, just it's going to absolutely wreck all of the things that are moving food around. So yeah, you are going to. By the time that would all be restore, restored, uh, you'd probably end up with like only a quarter of the population left. Let's see. Yeah. Side structural integrity and tolerance emulator visibly enhances physical geometry to allow for precise analysis even in low visibility or pitch black conditions. Also includes door activation functionality. Okay. Okay, I've got side scan. Right. Now get back to Billingham and use it to remotely open that door. And be quick, Kate. Oh god, so you're gonna kill Billingham and this kind of uh, terrible. Oh, we are we're not time limit now. You look at that now? I found out who these lunatics are. Yeah. They call That's themselves the Neo Malthusians. Yeah, I can't hear you when the characters are talking. Once you save Bellingham, it's his problem. You just concentrate on getting off that deck. Come on! Hurry! Quick, Kate, you sight scan. Open the door. Okay, and open door. Yes! <laughs> I'm never gonna let him live this down. It seemed to locked my hero. Hey, come on, uh, dudes. Yeah, you want to get out of there before you're choking on something else than the smoke. Gods. Yeah, as I was saying, this terrorist group 
likely not afraid at all for dying, so they will do definitely reckless things. Yeah, a man with nothing left. Uh, uh, <clears throat> no, that that line would not fit here. But uh, the less Jeez, people have to lose, okay? the more they're willing to yeah. lose everything. Look, there were complications. Yeah. The terrorists. Engineers blame complications. Officers get the job done. I don't believe I'm hearing this crap. Now, maybe you want to tell me what the hell's going on with your security system. It's being compromised, sir. I need to hack your console. Otherwise, neither of us are going anywhere. Well, engineer, be my guest. Well, sorry for saving your life, asshole. Yeah. This is, this is not a problem because the, this terrorist group have a literal death wish. Yeah. Okay, we've got security level one. That should unlock the main access routes. Oh, my hero. Now, you better get off this deck. Go to the shuttle plaza. You should be able to get there with your level one access. Wait, where are you going? To find a weapon. Somebody has to take back this ship. And I could do without any more complication. Yeah. He is so getting his ass Son killed. Of a bitch. Yeah. Screw him, King. We don't need that super uh, strength uh, prick. Uh, it, it, we just need to get off this deck. I guess that's so normal back to the shuttle plaza, group. then we're out of here. They made a religious terrorist group. That we have on main town TV. However, something about this group that is extra disturbing. Yeah. Like, any yeah, murderous so so any murderous group is disturbing. Yeah, terrorist bombers is a, is disturbing by its own, but this one is this one is definitely disturbing. Okay, Chief, I wanted to get you something to help you mellow out, which was suitable you know, for your image. Unfortunately, they were all out of aromatherapy <laughs> kits. <laughs> Happy birthday, old friends. Jake Gartland. That's the one that the terrorists were after. Uh, Anything else to interact with? There was another... Let's see. Where do I... Where do I view the old documents? Oh, there I see Q database, because we've missed a few of these. Uh, these are objectives, close, info, character profile, Scoot. Occupation Systems Engineering Chief, commonly known as Scoot. Chief, Chief Scoot McGraw heads up the systems engineering team on board the Queen of the World, which reports to the wider security service. Scoot's <laughs> team are responsible for maintaining the ship's internal network, infrastructure and protecting it from external threats. To counter the constant targeting of the Queen of the World by people smugglers looking to hack the citizenship identification subsystems, the System Engineering Service has recently become an official branch of the security force, reporting directly on suspected hackers and smugglers. Okay, I'm guessing... I'm going to go take a guess that with, well, the overpopulation, the rest of the world is kind of going to shit, and that people are, well, basically trying to illegally immigrate onto the Queen of the World. Yeah, and since it's a ship, it needs to land harbor now and then. Yeah, presumably, but I think a, a ship of this size is probably getting supplies from other ships. True. So if they did have a map earlier showing, but I think it was her route going from la uh, shore to shore. Yeah, m well, more sk more skirting along the shores. I can we find that thing in here somewhere? Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, this is just what we read on the wall earlier. Firefight. Extinguish the flames in security control, eh? Oh, it, it, it's one o'clock now. Uh, yeah, we should stop in a bit, but let me see if I can find that globe again. Sure. Uh, I don't mind. Let's see. Item? No. Find an item outside of Kate's apartment. Eh? Firefighter, ciphers, crack the Malthusian frequency code, discover now. Hmm? Okay, I'm not seeing anything for objects found here. So I guess we can't look at that again then. But, okay, I'll admit after the first heavy annoyance there, with the jumps, which I, I still have no idea how 
or why that wasn't working and then it was. Ma maybe it is just uh, a speed thing. There are uh, there are games that are hard to play on modern systems because, well, for one, some games just do not like multiprocessing, like Blood Omen 2. And then there are games you know, there are games that are supposed to be played at like a steady 30 frames per second. So if you go faster than that, it starts to get uh, finicky. So it might be a case of with of that with this, because this is a, a console port. But uh, yeah. Any thoughts on possibly streaming this again some other time? Yes, I am interested to know what is going to happen. Yeah, same here. The only noise I have is uh, it's sometimes hard to read, read the subtitle to the, to the pixelation. It's, and it says I can hear it. Yeah, it, it just makes it a bit harder to commentate. Yeah. Um, I might, I'll have to look around if there is a way to force this into windowed. Uh, it's probably something on the PC, PC gaming wiki. That, I'm probably going to visit that site a lot more uh, to try and get things to work better. Yeah, I feel, I feel oh, like hello, that's... here we are. Oh. Uh, they were under the log, apparently. Uh, Queen of the World Anniversary Globe. That, that, thing, <laughs> that is, thing is spinning on its... Oh, we can view it? Or... I can't control the spin. Uh, yeah, but you see the line I spoke of. Yeah, it's mostly skirting around the the shorelines. Okay. Uh, but yeah, then uh, I'll see about fitting this game into some so in somewhere in the streaming schedule. Be maybe not as a primary game to stream. Maybe something to work on on s something Sundays. Yeah. No, I, I think I think we also said that we'd want to uh, play a ground more. So maybe next time um, we do an hour of one of these games, a ground or hydrophobia, and then in the second half we try a different game. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. But for now, then though, anyone has actually I. Sh I should look up the twi with Twitch if there are actually people watching. Uh, I forgot to open it up here this time <laughs> because I always forget something. Maybe I should say, maybe I should change my nickname to Hillian the Senile or something. No, don't cut yourself short. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, that's quite a lot of names in there. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay then. Uh. Thank you for watching Josepha7. Uh, I have absolutely no idea how to make a sort of joke with that. Streamers area? Well, Twitch would be your area. S R I Z B. Sorry. I have no idea how to even try and pronounce that. Uh, thank you for watching as well. Joint effort. Thank you for being here again. Uh, and, well, we you were watching a joint effort, so. Yeah, do. <laughs> joint effortception. <laughs> have these two thank you for having the, the time to watch this too go with him thank you for going with us instead for top year I still have no idea what I could even do with that name <laughs> uh, for noons uh, have fun playing golf at noon uh, t -t -t electrical longboard still with uh, electrical skate MIA but thank you still for hanging around discord for streamers uh, well, I don't have a Discord server of my own, or not for streaming at least. Uh, no, I'm not selling off the other ones. <laughs> Casino, thanks. Uh, yes, thank you for taking a gamble on watching me instead. And Abbott Costello, I Beanie would always make a joke about that being a comedian, but I have absolutely no idea who that is supposed to be. So thank you for watching all the same, and as always, special thanks to Dirk here. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, this has been Something Sunday with House Flipper and Hydrophobia Prophecy. Uh, we will see more of this game eventually. House Flipper, I doubt, will maybe uh, just a relaxed stream every now and then. But probably not often. But yeah, this one is going on to to-do list for Something Sundays in the future. But 
until then, uh, thank you all again for watching, and until then. Be safe, folks! <laughs>